Hey guys, it is Friday, September 22nd, and this is our 33rd weekly vlog of our 2017 weekly vlog series, and I have got some exciting news. super exciting news which by now you probably already know if you watch all of our vlogs that come out because the trip announcement will be out before this video but we are going to Disney World and we haven't recorded the trip announcement yet so uh, for me from my perspective this is the first time I'm sharing it um, we booked it this week and super excited we weren't planning to go but we're going for Epcot's 35th anniversary our main reason for going again this soon is because we were so sick on the last trip and then had to leave a day early due to Irma that we didn't feel like we got done everything that we wanted to. We already had the week that we're going off of work. We were going to the beach for the week, so we didn't have to take additional vacation that we weren't already taking. So it just it basically worked out perfect. And we already had a rental car because we were planning to go to Busch Gardens, to Myrtle Beach, to Charleston, to Myrtle Beach, and back home. So we had rented a car for the week and um, it just worked out. It's just perfect. It was Brian's sort of idea. I mean, I kind of mentioned going back and then one day at work he sent me an email and said, hey, check out this deal at Disney. And then today I was actually, to get a, ugh, actually able to get an even better deal. Originally we had booked all-star movies and it wasn't a great rate because it was a preferred room and I couldn't get a pass holder discount on it. The, I've been checking daily and this morning a passholder deal came up at Coronado. So oh, it's not the cheapest, it's not the best passholder discount we've ever gotten, but it's a good rate for the room. In fact, it was only $20 more a night than All Stars. And to me, they're night and day difference. So especially the bed quality, the bed quality is huge. So we are gonna stay at Coronado and we're gonna be there. Um, we'll arrive at Disney on September 30th. We're actually, since we're driving this time, we're actually leaving the day before and stopping over to spend the night sort of close to Disney, but not at Disney because it's way cheaper, of course, to stay off property. Then we will be at Disney all day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday we're going to drive to Myrtle Beach, which is October 4th, and then we'll spend a few days at Myrtle Beach before we come back home at the end of our vacation. So it's sort of the best of both worlds. It's got a little Disney time, got a little relaxing at the beach time. And I thought her magic bands had already arrived, which was gonna be amazing. And what's funny though, is I ordered these pass holder bands at the same time that I ordered our magic bands for our trip. And we didn't get the trip ones today, but we did get the pass holder ones. Um, used to, these came with a little slider, but I heard they don't have them anymore, so I'm going to dig around the box and find out if that's true. If it is, it's sort of a bummer, and I probably won't order them next year because the main reason for getting them was for getting the slider, but we are still collecting all the colors. Uh, we want one of each color. Um, we haven't quite achieved that yet. And once we do, I'll definitely quit getting them, though. I don't want to waste them. All right, I went digging, and they do still have sliders, but the difference is they no longer have dates on them. They used to have dates. So like this one might say 2018 or 2017, no it'd be 2017, sorry. Don't even know what year it is. And these do not have dates anymore. So I wonder if they're even gonna change the color or if they're just gonna leave it orange. I bet they're gonna leave it orange because I think ours from last year was orange as well. But they do still have them, so that's good. Um, and also they weren't as hard to find. One year I got them and I think, they, if I remember correctly, they were actually inside of this and so we almost didn't even see them. This time they were right here so they were much easier to see. Good morning, it's Saturday morning and we have a ton of errands to run this morning. Some related because we're going out of town, some not because we just need to do normal weekly stuff. So we're going to a grocery store, Costco, um, and oh, I need to drop a UPS package off. So we do have a change to our plans already. Brian was smart enough to keep checking for an even better deal than our Coronado room, and he got popped for like 102 a night with a pass holder discount. So that's awesome. It saves us almost $300 over the Coronado room. If Coronado wasn't undergoing construction, I don't know if I would have wanted to switch just because the bed quality is so different. But we're hoping we might get a new pop room. I mean, I know most of them I don't think have been renovated yet. I think it's still on the beginning side, not the end side. But 
we requested one. I, I, you couldn't request it online, but I was able to call and request one. And so hopefully we'll get it, we'll see. But either way, it's nice to save $300. I told Brian that's a lot of Epcot 35th anniversary merch I can buy. And I think he said that's a lot of food and wine money that we can spend. So we'll see who wins that. But um, anyway, pretty exciting. And they also announced the Epcot 35th anniversary that they are gonna have some special stuff going on, special fireworks. I don't know if we'll make those, but um, they have a show at 10 a.m. of some kind with Voices of Liberty, and I think the band from Mexico, I think, was mentioned. And uh, also they have a special merchandise sh shop set up only that one day, so that'll be kind of neat. Um, so excited about that. So we're off to do our errands, and then later today we are gonna record um, a, basically just a video talking about our experience leaving before Irma. Um, the like we didn't stay through it so it's not one of those of like being there during Irma but Disney was already doing a lot of prep while we were there and the crowds were super low and some of the construction stuff was down at Hollywood Studios where you could see in a chain link fence and see the construction so we just thought we'd share some of that you might find it interesting so I hope to actually not only record it today but actually get it out today. So I certainly did not think I would be packing for Disney this soon and I gotta say I'm just not feeling it. I'm excited about Disney not feeling the packing part again. It just feels like I just unpacked. So trying to force myself to do it though. Um, I could definitely pack more during the week and I'll have to pack my clothes later because I'll be wearing some of them to work. But I am going to go ahead and get as much done as I can today. Hello, it's Sunday the 24th of September and um, I don't know what to do with myself. I know that sounds funny, but since we've been back from vacation, we have been so busy that I purposely tried to make today so I wouldn't have a lot to do. But now that I don't, I feel like, what should I do? I finished packing yesterday. I edited both our Irma video and also our weekly vlog from last week um, that goes out Monday. And so I'm like, okay. And I'm doing laundry today. I am doing laundry today, but that doesn't take that much time. I mean, it's moving loads through the laundry and um, putting dishes up in the kitchen, but I'm like, okay, then what? Um, it's weird having time. I'm trying to talk Brian into playing a tabletop game today. We haven't done that in a while. We just haven't had time. And I'm not sure what else we're gonna do today. Oh, we are gonna record. I meant to do this yesterday and totally spaced. I wish I'd done it yesterday um, just because I was in video edit mode. But I was gonna record our trip announcement. I'm gonna keep it low key this time since we just did one and we just went, um, but I didn't want to announce it. Um, that will actually go out before this video and um, hopefully we won't be changing your resorts again because this trip we've changed three times already. Um, well, two times, I guess, at three different resorts. Um, but I think we're set now. I can't imagine us getting a better deal than $102 a pop. That's pretty pretty good. Um, so I'm happy with that, but other than that, other than recording that later today and editing that, um, I'm going to grill out at lunch, so I'll have that to do, um, but yeah, it's kind of weird, and I mean, I need more days like this, it's just that I think when you go, 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 and work's been crazy too, it's hard to just stop, you know, I'm out of the habit of relaxing. Today I'm grilling out some kielbasa and it looks tasty. I overcooked it a little on this side and there comes some smoke, but it smells really good and I think it's gonna be really tasty. And what I do is I freeze the extra servings because Brian obviously doesn't eat this. We're gonna play a new to us game. We saw it on Will Wheaton's tabletop YouTube show. If you do like tabletop games, that's a really entertaining show and mm -hmm. he does a really great job explaining the actual mm -hmm. rules of the game. So I highly recommend that. I will put a link to it down there in the show notes. But in any case, um, this is a game we saw Welcome Back, no, we saw Welcome to the Dungeon, right? Right. On yeah. his show. Well, this is Welcome Back to the Dungeon, which has a few different cards, and also Brian said it comes with this life tracker, which yeah. the other one did not have. So we thought that might be useful. So we're going to give this a try and hope that it's as fun as it looked on the show. It looked like a lot of fun. Like the princess. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, that is pretty funny. She almost looks like Rapunzel. That's funny. So Brian won the first round. Um, I passed far too early, but I guess that's the learning process. Um, so here's the princess, which we're doing next. We started with the Necromancer, but now we're to the princess. 
Some of these aren't so funny, but these crack me up. The Chaperone and Mr. Charm crack me up. Chaperone. Brian sent me into the dungeon and the princess really stinks. I lost like big time. So now he has one success and I have one death. That's why I'm showing you this is flipped over. So if I die again, I'm out. Or if he wins again, he's won. So he's going to win. You're looking at the victor. So finally, I won a game. <laughs> I mean, I didn't win anything. Not only did I not win the game, but I never even won a dungeon crawl. I didn't get anything. <laughs> that success. was a clean win. Hey guys, it's Monday. And it just occurred to me today that tomorrow is the last day I have time to edit this video. So I'm gonna make today the final day. I know it's cutting up a little early, but I usually don't vlog that much during the work week. So I don't think it's that big of a difference. And I'd rather go ahead and get it edited, get it out to you guys. Otherwise it would, wouldn't be out for like a couple of weeks. And I wanna try to keep on a regular schedule. <clears throat> Excuse me, still getting over this thing. <laughs> Um, did get some cool Disney mail today. Got another box of Magic Bands. And these are the ones for our trip. And so the ones you saw before were pass holder ones. But then I also got a separate email um, with these magnets, um, pass holder. And they gave us two this time. In previous years, we've only got one. And it also didn't look like this. It was the kind that said, um, like AP on it, um, kind of look like those things you stick on your car, which I don't stick on my car, but anyway, I like these a lot better and I like that they give us two. Um, so that if you so wanted to put it on your car, you have one for each car, which is nice. Also, I thought of a couple more things from our trip that I didn't mention before. Um, before we got to feeling really terrible, <laughs> we did manage to keep some of our ADRs. We ended up canceling some of them because we just weren't feeling good weren't tasting food, so it's like why you know, spend all that money if you're not even enjoying the food. But the first weekend, I had terrible sore throat, but otherwise was fine. It hadn't affected my taste yet, I still had an appetite, all that. So we went to um, the California Girl Brunch, um, which we did back in March, and we did a review of that. Um, so I will link to that up there. Um, nothing has changed really, I mean, some of the salads were slightly different, but overall, if you if you see our March review, it's pretty much the same offerings. The menu is the same. Really, the salads were the only thing I noticed changing. They went from these little individual salads you could pick up, like just a iceberg le lettuce wedge type thing, so they were like single serving size, to a big family style bowl that you dipped yours out of. So that was the only... Um, and, and the types of salads changed, but that was the only change I noticed. We loved it once again, can't recommend it enough. What I would suggest though is ask to wait for a window table, even if you have to wait a while. Um, the first time we just got one by default, this time we did not. And without staring at this gentleman sort of next to us, I really couldn't look out the windows because of the way we were seated. It's that sort of booth style chairs on the other side. So there was a couple next to us in front of the window. And so to look out the window, I'd have to stare at them, which is super awkward. And part of what you're paying for up there is the view. Food's fantastic too, but the view is stunning. So my recommendations, get there a little early and tell them you're happy to wait until a window table. And I actually think they had window tables when we sat down. I just didn't even think to ask for one. So live and learn, that's my tip to you. Um, also, we went to Boma for dinner. <clears throat> We love Boma, you've heard us say that. We normally go for breakfast um, or brunch. I think they call it breakfast, but they serve it all the way up to 10.55 as the latest reservation. So we usually book it for 10.55 and treat it like lunch kind of. We did the dinner this time, which we had not done in years, and it was absolutely excellent, loved it. But I have to say we both like the breakfast better. Um, I can't put a finger on why exactly. Um, I don't know, I, I really can't say, um, but we both agreed we enjoy the breakfast better and it's a lot cheaper. Um, so that would be another tip. I'm not saying that would be your preference, everyone has different tastes, but for us, we like the breakfast better and it's cheaper. Um, so I don't know when or if we'll do the dinner again. And we are gonna do a third review of the dinner showing the entire buffet, showing what we got and talking about the gluten-free options. So that will be forthcoming. Um, I can't tell you when yet because with this trip coming, uh, it's gonna be a while before we can record it and I can edit it. But I wouldn't say too long from now, I'd say in the next two months at least, um, if not sooner. So 
This is gonna wrap up this week's weekly vlog. And as always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Bye.